stick around, stay with me. There's gonna be some singing about tart cherry. <laughs> what is wrong with me? I think I'm bored. I think I'm bored with my life. Hello everybody, <laughs> hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Let Me Learn Ya and in today's episode we are going to be talking about how to get your ass to sleep. Today we're going to be talking about tart cherry juice and you've probably heard about this if you are somebody suffering from insomnia and searching out any type of natural remedy that doesn't actually have to do with dealing with your stress, exercising, stopping the caffeine, you know, all the usual causes of insomnia. The reason why I'm doing this video today is recently a TikTok video blew up and went viral, as the kids say, because a woman who was a self-professed insomniac decided to try the tart cherry juice because of a video that she had seen on TikTok. Yes, this happens all the time on TikTok. You're having trouble sleeping? Baby, get you some tart cherry juice. It works. Okay, so I watched her video. She said, go get you some organic tart cherry juice. I am my family's insomniac. I have tried every brand of freaking melatonin gummies. Let's do this. And let's see. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't trying to leave people on red. Posting that video was literally the last thing I did. And I'm just now waking up. If that doesn't speak volumes to how this works, go get it. I've done the magnesium, I have the blackout curtains, I've tried all the melatonin, the Teal's, Dr. Teal's spray. Let me show you it so y'all can run. It's $6 at Walmart, run. Here it is. I drank half a cup, so it's four ounces. So was it placebo? Was it a random coincidence? Was she lying for views? Or is tart cherry juice the magical elixir you need to finally sleep like a wee baby? In today's episode, you will learn about tart cherries, what the potential mechanisms are that can help you sleep, and does the research support tart cherry juice? So, tart cherries. Are they just like any other run-of-the-mill cherry? No, they are not. That's why they are called tart cherry and not ch cherry. Regular sweet cherries are the types of cherries that you normally see in the grocery store that you will snack on because they are delicious. They are very sweet. They're like nature's delicious little candy. Their color is usually more of a deep, deep red or even purple. Tart cherries, in contrast, are extremely bright red. Think maraschino cherries. And you guessed it, by the name, they are not as sweet. They are very tart because there are less sugars in tart cherries. So according to Alexa, ooh, now she's gonna, never mind, just kidding, I'm not talking to you. According to Shmushmexa, you pronounce this Montmorency tart cherries. Montmorency tart cherries, and if I'm wrong, it's her fault, it's Schmishmexa's fault, are usually the type of cherries that you will find in tart cherry juice and the supplements. Tart cherries have an abundance of something called phytochemicals, which are basically plant chemicals that they use to protect themselves from fungi, bacteria, all kinds of foreign invaders, that when we ingest them, we have been observed to get specific health benefits from. So they have phenolic acids, flavonoids, and anthocyanins. They actually have more of these than other types of fruits and have more than their sister brother cousins, the sweet cherries. They also have some anti-inflammatory substances that were found to be equal to, or even better than in some cases, than some anti-inflammatory medications. They also contain melatonin and tryptophan, which will come into play in our next section. Melatonin is known as, and then there goes the light, so now the light's gonna change. Come on, come back through, move cloud. Melatonin is known as a sleep hormone that plays a role in regulating your circadian rhythm. It's secreted later on in the day to help prepare you for sleep. And I'm sure a lot of you have seen melatonin supplements all over the freaking place because it's supposed to help with sleep. But there are a couple problems with this theory. Number one, if you're drinking the straight juice, there's no way of knowing how much melatonin is there because the amount of melatonin will depend on the type of cherry, where it was grown, how it was produced, how the juice was made, 
etc etc the other issue is that a glass of tart cherry juice which is usually used in these research studies contains generally about 0.135 micrograms of melatonin where a very low dose of melatonin used in supplements for sleep is closer to 0.5 to 5 milligrams that's a huge difference Okay, so that has led some researchers to theorize that there's got to be something else going on with this tart cherry juice if it is in fact working. The second most talked about ingredient in tart cherry juice is tryptophan. If any of you have ever eaten Thanksgiving dinner, then you have probably heard tryptophan being blamed for the fact that you fall asleep after your meal because turkey is high in tryptophan. Now that is the bunk. There are tons of foods that have tryptophan in them. And you don't fall asleep after you eat those foods, right? The key with Thanksgiving is you have just gorged on a ton of food, very rich, sugary, buttery, fatty foods. You're around your relatives where, let's be honest, that's exhausting as hell. And you might have uh, imbibed in some alcoholic deliciousness. This all can be the cause of why you fall asleep after a dinner, not tryptophan. Now, the reason why tryptophan is talked about as influencing sleep is because tryptophan is an amino acid that can be converted to serotonin, which is the feel good chemical in your body, as well as, wait for it, melatonin. But again, the amount of tryptophan in these tart cherries is very freaking low. We're talking for every 100 grams of tart cherries, there's about nine milligrams of tryptophan. Each day, people eat around 250 to 425 milligrams of tryptophan. So is nine milligrams really gonna make the difference that makes you pass out at night? I don't think so, and neither do researchers. The final proposed mechanism is that these cherries are extremely high in anti-inflammatory substances, which I talked about before. Some inflammatory cytokines that are floating around in your body have been linked to sleep modulation, so there may be some sort of a link there. Additionally, there is an enzyme, which I am not gonna pronounce, but I will put here, and will abbreviate to IDO because that's what researchers do. And I'm all about doing what the researchers want. <laughs> not really, not really. Is this thing on? Researchers stop naming things stupidly. Okay, thanks. We will call it IDO that degrades tryptophan. Tryptophan is now useless in the body. It's actually converted to a different type of chemical. So it is not being used to create serotonin and it is not being used to create melatonin. However, tart cherries have something in them called procyanidin. So this thing decreases the activity of IDO, meaning less tryptophan breakdown potentially. So that is yet another mechanism that maybe tart cherry juice blocks tryptophan being broken down in a highly inflamed body, which then allows your body to create serotonin and melatonin and help you sleep. But what does the research say? Not much at all. So if you're reading a bunch of health guru blogs and everything that are like tart cherry juice has been proven to help with sleep, don't listen to them. Don't freaking listen to them because it hasn't been proven. There have been a handful of very teeny tiny studies in humans that had, I think the largest study I found was 16 human beings. So they're very small, but the results that they saw were compelling. One of the first was a teeny tiny study of 16 individuals where the researchers observed significant improvement in all different types of sleep measurements. However, the problem with this study is that what they were measuring was self-reported. So there's always going to be problems with that. Hello, placebo effect. But that study led to smaller random controlled trials, which also had some interesting results. So there was another study of 20 healthy exercising volunteers 
volunteers who had some issues sleeping. Tart cherry juice significantly increased amount of time that the people were asleep, the quality of their sleep, and sleep efficiency. Now what was interesting about this study is they also measured urinary degradation of melatonin and found that this increased significantly by about 17% in those who were drinking tart cherry juice, which showed that there was increased melatonin levels in the individuals who drank cherry juice. However, there was no observed change in circadian rhythm because of the increase of melatonin. Lastly, and I found this study the most interesting, unfortunately it was only in eight older adults, but they observed significant improvements in sleep time, just like the other studies, and a non-significant improvement in sleep efficiency. But here was what was really interesting. So remember that stuff I was talking about, about that IDO enzyme breaking down tryptophan and how there's an anti-inflammatory property in tart cherry juice that blocks that enzyme and therefore hopefully that means tryptophan is not being picked on and not being bullied so that it can do its job and help you with feel good chemicals and sleepy time chemicals? Well, they measured that in this study. When tryptophan is degraded, it's converted into kynurenine. Kynurenine. So when you look at the kynurenine to tryptophan ratio, you can tell at what rate tryptophan is being degraded. And it was observed in the group that was drinking tart cherry juice that that ratio significantly decreased, indicating the inhibition of that enzyme that we talked about earlier. And a marker of inflammation that they were measuring was significantly decreased as well. So that was kind of interesting. What I think is the only thing that matters because this is my universe, you guys, this is my world. There is not enough research to definitively state that tart cherry juice will help you sleep better, period. There are a handful of teeny tiny itty bitty yellow polka dot bikini studies in humans that can't be translated to the general population. The results and the data that they're collecting are interesting and therefore should push forward larger, more gooder, more populous, better studies. We need more research on this with larger sample sizes that are more diverse. Currently, research seems to be pointing towards the antioxidant, anti-inflammatory properties of tart cherry juice helping with sleep, as opposed to the fact that they have melatonin and tryptophan in there. Or it might be all three. There is melatonin in there and tryptophan and these anti-inflammatory properties that could all just collectively come together and mellow out your freaking body and be like, chill, yo, it's time to go sleepy. This might be why the girl in the TikTok video didn't have any success with melatonin on its own, but did have success when it was combined with tryptophan and anti-inflammatory antioxidant properties of the tart cherry juice. I will actually be trying it myself and will report on flavor and whether or not it worked for me somewhere in this video. So if you want to drink it, drink it. There's nothing wrong. It's like apple juice or something like that. You know, it's a juice. Will it help you sleep? The jury is still kind of out, but there's no real harm in trying it unless you are somebody who has a very sensitive bladder and frequently wakes up in the middle of the night to relieve yourself. Drinking eight glasses of cherry juice is probably not going to help with that. Additionally, if you are somebody who is sensitive to thought maps, if you haven't watched my video, check that out. You may experience all kinds of bloating, gas, maybe diarrhea from drinking that much cherry juice as cherries are a high FODMAP food. And lastly, if you're wondering about dosage, that is something you should probably experiment with on your own. I saw some studies where they used just one ounce of cherry juice and saw benefits, and I saw other studies where they drank eight ounces of cherry juice and saw benefits. So experiment with that, but usually the participants drank the juice about an hour before bed, and that's all there is to that. Otherwise, I'm freaking out of here. And there goes my neighbor's dog. Perfect timing, right? When I'm trying to 
sum up my videos. So that's everything. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Thank you for watching. Chat with me in the comments. Have you tried tart cherry juice? Has it worked for you? Do Does melatonin work for you? Let me know if there are other types of food remedies or health thingies that you'd like me to review or debunk or talk about. Have a wonderful week. Thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you guys later. Bye. That was my chair. Okay, that wasn't me. I gotta do those tongue exercises. What were they? The rain in Spain falls mainly on the plane. That doesn't sound like a. Can I answer your question? No. Hi, Leo. What the Jeremy recommended some tongue exercise, mouth exercises. Red leather, yellow leather, leather. All my gesturing makes my hair go this way, and pretty soon I'm like. Herm Kazanet. Me, 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 me. I'm gonna get some crap pronunciation. Anthocyanin. Okay, that's how I said it. That's how I said it. Why am I talking like this? I don't know. Unique New York. Unique. <laughs> Red, yellow, leather, yellow. <laughs> nope, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm trying to say, why are those plants dying when I water them? What the hell? <laughs> Which led researchers to... <laughs> I need to drink. I need to freaking drink when I do these. Oh, that would be so... Maybe I will. Maybe I'll drink.